Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching Saudi Asia Newsline and have a top stories we are tracking for you on Monday the 9th of September. CM Modi meets UAE Crown Prince Al Nayyan to criticize. Thousands rally for Pakistan's jailed ex PM Imran Khan's release. PTI warns potential violence. And US House Republican report that Biden over chaotic Afghan withdrawal. For all details, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan, who is on a two-day visit to New Delhi, met Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and held discussions on the entire spectrum of ties between India and the UAE. Both countries had signed a comprehensive economic partnership agreement in 2022 and a local currency settlement system in 2023 to promote the use of Indian rupee and dirham for cross-border transactions. After the talks on Monday, the two sides signed several agreements to boost cooperation in energy sector and other areas of mutual interest. The two countries are among each other's top trading partners with a bilateral trade of about 85 billion US dollars in 2022-23 according to official data. The UAE is also among the top four investors in India in terms of foreign direct investments. The Abu Dhabi Crown Prince is also scheduled to visit Financial Hub Mumbai on Tuesday to participate in a business forum meet. Indian security forces on Monday neutralized two terrorists in an anti-infiltration operation in North Shera region of India's Jammu and Kashmir. In a statement, the Indian Army's White Knight Corps said a joint operation by the police and the Indian Army was launched based on intelligence inputs regarding a likely infiltration bid on the intervening night of 8th and 9th September. Search operations have resulted in the additional recovery of one M4 rifle, so far, two AK-47, one M4 with sight, one pistol, eight grenades, assorted ammunition, personal clothing and miscellaneous warlike stores have been recovered, the statement added. The infiltration attempts by foreign terrorists come as the federally administered territory is gearing up for assembly elections after 10 years. The border region will witness elections in three phases, with the Union Territory holding the first phase of voting on 18th of September. Moving on, thousands of supporters of Pakistan's incarcerated former Prime Minister Imran Khan gathered for a massive rally on Sunday and protested against PM Shehbaz Sharif's government and demanded Khan's immediate release. The crowd was seen chanting slogans in Khan's support. His PTI party had initially planned the protest in July. However, it was postponed twice due to the denial of permission by authorities. The party also vowed to stand against a military trial against Khan and warned that PTI's verbal struggle could turn into a bloody struggle if Khan is not released. <laughs> इमरान खान रिहा ना हुआ तो खुदा की कसम हम इमरान खान को भी खुद रिहा करेंगे तैयार हो तैयार हो हक के लिए तैयार हो मैं आपको लीड करूंगा मैं आपको लीड करूंगा पहली गोली मैं खाऊंगा आगे मैं हूंगा पीछे नहीं हटना while the region of POJK boasts the capacity to generate substantial hydropower, its residents continue to grapple with crippling power cuts. The situation has severely impacted economic activity. A report. Residents of Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir are facing increasing frustration over the persistent power cuts that have crippled their daily lives and economic activities. Despite a decrease in electricity prices following deadly protests in May, load shedding has become even more frequent. A local businessman said, even when there is electricity, it is difficult to run a fan due to low voltage. This is severely impacting businesses. 
He highlighted the urgent need to upgrade the region's outdated power infrastructure. Structure वही पुराना है, लाइनें वही पुरानी बिछी हुई हैं, तलब ज़्यादा बढ़ गई है, और नज़ाम जो है वो अपग्रेड नहीं कर रहे हैं, नज़ाम को इन्हें बेहतर नहीं कर रहे हैं, वही इन्हें फॉल्ट है लाइनों में, वही पुरानी वही इन्हें लाइनें जो बिछी हुई हैं, तो आप जो है ना नए सिरे से इसको जो है ना वो मुलाजम करने की जरूरत है दी पी ओ जे के रेजिडेंट फर्दर क्रिटिसाइज दी नीलम झेलम हाइड्रो पावर प्रोजेक्ट एज अ कोलोसल फेलियर एंड कॉल फॉर अ शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स मोर सस्टेनेबल एंड लोकली ड्रिवन सोल्यूशन आजाद कश्मीर में पोटेंशियल मौजूद है पूरे आजाद कश्मीर में ना कि सिर्फ मुजाबाद की बात पूरे आजाद कश्मीर में जगह जगह ये मिनी हाइड्रो स्टेशन हाइड्रो प्रोजेक्ट को लॉन्च करें कम खर्चा और इनको इन्हें जो है ना रिटर्न वो ज्यादा होगा हुकूमत को जो है ना आमदन का एक जरिए भी बन जाएगा तो ना तो वो इन्होंने पाकिस्तान के ग्रेट स्टेशन में क्या आएगा वहाँ से वापस आके हमें मिलेगा लोकल्स इन पी ओ जे के हैव लॉन्ग एक्यूज दे आर रूल बाई स्टूज अथॉरिटीज हु ओनली हेल्प इस्लामाबाद फिल इट्स ट्रेजरीज थ्रू इकोनॉमिक डेप्रडेशन बट देर इशूज डू नॉट मैटर The long-awaited report in the U.S. House of Representatives about the 2021 American withdrawal from Afghanistan has blasted the Democrat President Joe Biden's administration for failures surrounding the chaotic and deadly withdrawal of U.S. forces. Reuters has reported. The report, which is the result of a three investigation led by Representative Michael McCall, Republican Chair of the House of Foreign Affairs Committee, contends that the administration made its decision to evacuate non-combatants for too late, failed to communicate between departments in Washington and among officials in Afghanistan, and botched the paperwork for the departure of Afghan civilian eligible to leave the country. America's credibility on the world stage was severely damaged after we abandoned Afghan allies to Taliban reprisal killings the people of Afghanistan we had promised to protect the report said the withdrawal has become intensely politicized ahead of the November 5 US presidential election former president Donald Trump has also attacked Biden and vice president Kamala Harris during campaign appearances over the exit from Afghanistan blaming them personally for the deaths at Kabul airport's Abu Gate however democrats have insisted that some blame for the messy end of the war should be laid at the feet of Trump who began the withdrawal process by signing a deal with the Taliban in 2020 Bangladesh chief adviser Mohammad Yunus this past weekend called for a fast track third country resettlement of Rohingya Muslims living in the South Asian country as a new wave of refugees flee escalating violence in Myanmar. The call to expedite resettlement efforts was made during a meeting with the International Organization for Migration in which Yunus head of the interim government said the resettlement process should be easy regular and smooth. Around 8000 Rohingya have fled to Bangladesh in recent months as fighting intensifies between Myanmar's ruling junta and the Arakan army a powerful ethnic militia drawn from the country's Buddhist majority The new arrivals add to the more than 1 million Rohingya refugees already living in overcrowded camps in Bangladesh Cox Bazar district most of whom fled a military led crackdown in Myanmar in 2017 The Rohingya refugees have little hope of returning to their homeland where they are largely denied citizenship and other basic rights. The Sri Lankan Navy this past weekend detained 14 fishermen from India's Tamil Nadu and seized their three trawlers on allegations of trespassing into the territorial waters of the island nation. The Lankan Navy claimed with this recent apprehension A total of 50 Indian trawlers and 359 Indian fishermen have been arrested for alleged poaching. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin on Monday wrote to India's Foreign Minister S J Shankar requesting him to intervene to ensure the release of all the fishermen and secure a waiver of the hefty penalty imposed on them. He also urged the center government to initiate measures to revive the India Sri Lanka joint working group on fisheries. India and Sri Lanka share an expansive oceanic border without a clearly defined demarcation. Fishermen from both countries frequently stray into each other's territory while netting their catch and end up spending years in jails. 
That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.